Good morning everyone. My name is Sami Awad, the director of Holland Trust in Bethlehem. And this is the weekly update in terms of the news of Holy Land Trust. Uh, today I'm not in the office. I'm actually standing not far from the office near the separation wall, the separation barrier that doesn't just divide Palestinians from Israelis but divides Palestinians from Palestinians as well. And as we have always spoken as an organization, something we fully are committed to and believe in, that while we know this wall, this cement concrete wall needs to come down, that there are still other barriers that we need to engage in. And for us as an organization, our commitment to nonviolence is an understanding that the psychological and the emotional barriers that do not allow for trust and respect and the recognition of peoples to take place. So while nonviolence is important as a means of resisting the symbols of the occupation, we fully acknowledge that there is much more to the occupation than just the symbols, that there are deep-rooted issues that we need to engage in, and that's where the power of nonviolence takes place. Another thing I'm very excited about this week that I am personally engaging in is that I have been invited to participate in a very high-level and important summit that's going to take place in the United States in St. Louis on the 27th and the 28th of this month, which is called the Euphrates Summit. In this summit, experts from around the world in different fields are going to come together and discuss and develop a plan on what do we do 10 years after 9-11 what are we really going to do to make sure that violence and terrorism do not continue and put a one-time end to this? So this is a global summit to really launch a global peace campaign led by people and experts from around the world. And I'm really excited to be there. And you could follow the proceedings of the summit on the Euphrates Summit website.